What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you 5 tips to win more gunfights in Halo. The first tip we're going to be getting into is using power weapons. Now, power weapons, they have different spawns on different maps, and they are extremely strong and are very useful whenever you're getting into a gunfight. A good example of this is the power weapon I'm holding in my hand right now, which is the M41 Spanker. This weapon's a rocket launcher, and it can one-shot any enemy, so... I would recommend picking up a power weapon because it will make your gunfights a lot easier to win. Now the second tip we're going to be getting into is playing with your team. Now this is a very crucial tip because if your team is separated and different people are fighting everywhere, it's going to be really hard for you to win gunfights because you, you'll have less support from your teammates. So try as much as possible to stick with your team because that will increase the chances of you surviving and winning more gunfights. The third tip we're going to be getting into is making, ca is making call outs. Um, this is a very important step, just like the last uh, tip, but obviously the thing is not everyone has a mic, especially in like casuals or something, or you know, sometimes people don't use their mics. So even if, you know, no one has a mic, you know, you can just, uh, you know, ping where enemies are, you know, stuff like that, because that'll like direct your teammates and it'll help them, you know, get the drop on them. Also, if they do have mics or you have a mic, you know, you can just speak and that'll just help guide your teammates further. But, you know, you know, try to make call-outs as much as possible because that can make it a lot easier to get the drop on an enemy and etc. Now, the fourth tip we're going to be getting into is letting people use power weapons. Now, obviously, this is very contradictory to the first tip I said where I said you should go for power weapons, but, you know, hear me out. Um, sometimes it's better to just let the enemy go for power weapons and then you can just, you know, kill them and then take the power weapon. Because, you know, sometimes if you go for a power weapon, another person is going to go for it at the same time and they might end up killing you and you might lose to, you lose the chance, you know, to get that power weapon. So, you know, sometimes, you know, if you see someone going for the power weapon, you can just let them go for it and, you know, kill them and then take it for yourself, you know? Now, the fifth tip we're going to be getting into is map knowledge. Now, this is probably the most difficult tip on this list, but basically to simplify it, map knowledge is, you know, no Knowing the map, like it says, you know, knowing the map, knowing the power weapons, knowing the spawns, you know, knowing the best position to get on your enemy, etc. And map knowledge is the most difficult because in order to cultivate map knowledge, you have to play the game over a long period of time. And you have to play it enough to where you can memorize the spawns, you know, the best routes, you know, stuff like that. So, um, map knowledge, the only way to get better at that is play the game, and over time you'll eventually memorize the spawns, the best, the best positions, and more. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And if you want to see more Halo Infinite tips video like this, go watch my other video that gives you 5 capture the flag tips to improve in Halo Infinite. Peace out.